<sighs> what it do, YouTube? This is another video coming live from nature. You know, imaginism. So basically, I just want to do you know, a quick little video and talk to people about how to break the chain. Um, so today's video is basically on how to break a cycle that keeps reoccurring in your life. You know, and, and you keep facing it multiple, multiple times. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be from addictions to females to, you know, friends, you know, all kind of things, you know. You know, and I, I came across a lot of uh, experiences in my past, you know, and helped me to basically, you know, be more alert and be aware of a lot of things. And for one of them, you know, I always struggled. I want to say um, my biggest thing was females, you know, um, I guess in the past, you know, I was, you know, kind of really obese, really heavy, you know, people that know me, they know, you know what I'm saying, my past, that I never really had a lot of females, and, you know, so basically, you know, when I actually lost some weight, you know, I, I explored, I did a lot of exploring, <laughs> you know, um, I, you know, it, a lot of people say, hey, slow down before you catch something, you know, thank God that I didn't get nothing. But some people that do have caught something, you know, it's just everything's experience and a learning curve. I, I learned through my lessons, you know, and um, so basically, you know, I just want to give a little shed on some light, man, what helped me uh, basically get over a lot of things that were recurring in my past, like addictions with drugs, you know. Um, so basically what helped me was basically I had to take a step back and observe you know, basically just look at what I was doing, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of things that we go through is through the past, you know, of subconscious have absorbed certain feelings or things that we've done in the past more than one, three, four, five times. And it actually just, just happens naturally now, you know, so it's with females, you know, I didn't have that emotion of, of love, of, of basically of uh, feeling just appreciated at the time. You know, and so basically when I think I found a female, I thought that that's what I was looking for. But through life, you know, going on, you know, basically it was more of about appreciating and loving myself. And when I started to love myself and to look in the mirror and face everything, you know, things started to change. You know, um, females, you know, I found this one particular woman, you know, and uh, she's, you know, my lady, my wife, you know, and, and she's my everything, you know, and... uh I love her to death, man. You know, Vanessa, she's, that's my, that's my girl's name. Y'all don't know, but, um, you know, it's just, she's helped me. And, and, and in the beginning, you know, it was tough for me, you know, because I was, I felt like I've done so much wrong in the past that it could, it could catch up, you know? And, you know, and once you face your fears, man, you know, fears of, is a false evidence appearing real. It's what we create, you know, in our mind. And once you actually understand that and face it, you know, um, you'll see that it was just, just a little piece of layer or something, you know, and, and and we thought it was so big and esoteric and all kinds of things, but really it was just a small sheet of paper, you just lift it off and then there it goes, you know, and then you're like, wow, that's it, you know, but, um, so a lot of things like that, you know, and if you're going through family situations or something like that, it's always good to take a step back, you know, and, and observe yourself to understand, you know, that, it's, all, it's going to be okay, you know, it's all about just, just taking one step at a time, taking it one day at a time, you know, some people are so caught up in the future and in the past, but not living today, you know, embody today, you know, you can't change the past, you can't change the future, all you can do is change today, and what you take today helps for the day tomorrow and the day after that, you know, it's all about just letting go of the past and letting go of the future, but just in loving today, you know, doing things today to help you get one step closer to whatever it is that you want, you know, and, and, and you know, and always about holding the faith, you know, me and my lady, we went to, I got this apartment, and we got a phone call, and the lady said that we didn't qualify because we made too much money. That hurts, you know, at first, and, you know, so basically, she was like, well, I, I was just, I talked to her, I was like, well, are you sure this is right, because, you know, I'm a janitor right now, you know, that's why people say I wear the shirt, it's, it's MSI, it's a company I work for, so basically, you know, I was just like, okay, well, I just said, can you just check again, and uh, so, you know, so later on at 3 o'clock, she's going to tell us what the news is, you know, and it's all about 
detaching from the end result, you know. The universe always works in mysterious ways, and it, everything's for a reason, no matter what, if it's good or bad. It's always about learning from your experiences and progress, you know. That's what happiness is. Happiness to me, I thought, was money, having the cars, the fancy the chains, the clothes, the females, and everything that everyone in society has, has pointed us that this is what this is. But as I got older, you know, I started to see that that's simple-minded, simple things compared to progressing, you know, being overweight my whole life and to finally just to be able to work out and, and not be so caught up in, oh, I want to lose weight, this, 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 you know, to be able to just to lose the weight and feel good, you know, I went from 286 pounds almost a year and a half, like five months ago, and today I weigh myself and I weigh 225 pounds, you know, and, and just to know that I did that is a big accomplishment, and, and yes, it's not where I want to be yet. But at the end of the day, it's all about that I am still going, I am still progressing, I am still moving forward, and I'm not letting it get to me. And of course, some days, you know, I eat bad, but it doesn't mean I'm eating bad, I'm deserving it, I'm treating myself, you know, I'm letting myself enjoy life. I'm not just letting life just go by, or I'm not on, auto on autopilot. I'm simply aware and consciously aware of everything now, and it's just... It's awakening, you know, and I just want to help other people achieve the same things, the goals, and whatever they want in life, you know, I want to help people, you know, and I know I don't know everything, I don't know everything, to be honest, so the more I start to think I know everything, the more I start to think I don't know shit, but all I can say is that, you know, it's all about learning, if you're not learning, you're dying, and knowledge is not meant to be kept, it's meant to be spoken upon, to upbring the next generation, and, you know, it's all about just uplifting other people, you know, and um, and a lot of people are, are supporting me in my movement and what I'm doing, and I'm thankful and grateful for it, you know, and uh, I just want to help as many people as I can before I go, and that's just the real, and it's what I'm here to do, to help other people, you know, and just remember, never give up, and if you feel like you're stuck in a situation, it's okay, it's going to be okay, you have to have crazy faith. You got to believe that everything is meant for a reason. So if something happens, what you do is you just take a step back. Breathe. Allow yourself to be caught up in the moment and what you're doing. And then just wait a second and ask, and ask yourself, what is it I'm supposed to learn from this experience? Or what is it I'm supposed to do to help me move forward? And eventually, you know, in the Bible, it's just asking, now what shall receive? So basically, you just have to be patient. And then later you'll see, okay, I was supposed to do this. So I wasn't supposed to mess with this girl. I wasn't supposed to, you know, do something to hurt this person. It's all about, you know, just being aware of, of your situations. And remember, a lot of things that are occurring now is <clears throat> from three to five years in the past that you thought about. And you're uh, attracting it now. And, you know, it's all about letting go of the old belief system and just basically just moving forward, you know. And creating the new opportunities and creating new, uh, you know, a new life, you know, and that's what it's all about, man. You know, I learned through my children, man, they're so pure, you know, and if you have children and they're at the age of two, between four, you'll see, you'll see, man, um, what they mean by, they think it says terrible twos, nah, it's the pure twos. Um, they're so, like my son now, now he's only two and he's... He's my guide. You know, he, I learned so much from him just watching, um, just watching him and just the things he does, you know, and 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 everything. And it really is a mind blowing, you know, because it's like I see what they mean. You know, we, you know, were given a name. We were given a belief system. We were given certain things that we didn't have the choice. But once you become aware that you have a choice, and stop blaming other people. And own up to your responsibilities. Own up to it. No matter if it's good or bad. Don't blame point, point, point. No. Point at yourself and deal with it with yourself inside. You know, in the Bible it says, you know, darkness. When you look in the darkness, you shall find the light. And a lot of people are scared of the dark. But at the end of the day, you have to find the light through the dark. You know, you wouldn't appreciate light without dark. And you wouldn't appreciate water without dryness you know a lot of things hot or cold you wouldn't appreciate it if we didn't know so sometimes you have to go through the bad to figure out the things that you do want 
you know so it's it's all about just taking it one step one day greatness remember man there's a lot of small things done well you can't walk the great wall of china with one walk you could walk it slowly take one step at a time you know lay that one perfect foundation break at a time and eventually step back and look and like wow i created a whole wall you know so it's all about just being in the moment when you take these steps just be in the moment just enjoy life and you will you will prosper in abundance of love and joy and peace and happiness and that's what i wish for my people you know and and i just want to say I'm thank you and thankful and grateful for you guys to watch my videos and to support me and to when you see me you know it's it's, it's great man to know that i'm able to touch a lot of people and you know and that's just what my goal is to keep pushing keep motivating you know, and, and it's about finding your life purpose. Remember, finding your life purpose, too, is all about not at, once you stop searching, it'll come to you. That's just all I have for today. So I just want to say thank you, guys. I love you guys. I know it's kind of long, but it's okay. Just know that I'm here for you guys. I love you. And may peace and joy, peace and happiness be upon you guys with abundance of love. All right. Imaginism out.